Morning everyone, Dr. Eric from uh, Dr. Eric Prime X. Just doing a quick follow up on my video I just did the other day on hormonal rhythms. The question I was asked was, was about growth hormone and the best time to work out to maximize growth hormone uh, and other hormones. We've talked about testosterone uh, as well. I'm going to use this, some of the same graphs I had the other day, a little messy, uh, but basically uh, fitness, uh, training, and growth hormone rhythms. I think we talked about before how the biggest spike is right before uh, deep wave sleep in your stage three and four sleep, right before REM sleep. That's the best spike. That's why you want to get to bed at a you know, reasonable time, 9, 10 o'clock, etc. That's when your best, highest spike is. You do get little spikes throughout the morning, uh, but not the, the optimal ones. So those of my, my patients who are on peptide therapy, obviously we can enhance these natural rhythms and a circadian rhythm to optimize that and get a, a better effect. So patients love the peptides, the growth hormone security uh, gogs, those are fantastic, uh, especially if you're doing first thing in the morning fasted um, and then do some training. Um, that's a way to maximize your own body's growth hormone. So during fitness, you know, there is a, you can certainly increase it. Uh, check out my other video on natural ways to boost your body's growth hormone production. But by training fasted in the morning, um, especially even if, you know, if you're hesitant about that, you can do some amino acids or even a, a small little bit of protein, but you know, just quickly digesting amino acids are a great way to enhance your workout and without affecting your growth hormone rhythm. Uh, by training, uh, by doing some training fast, especially if you're doing some very short, high intensity training, or focusing on the eccentric phase of doing some uh, growth hormone um, producing workouts, which I'm going to uh, produce, uh, give you some examples of those in some later videos, you could further enhance uh, that growth hormone production during during and after your workout. Now, some studies will say that yeah, you can get a spike in your growth hormone and testosterone during a workout, depending on certain ways that you train, but it's really inconsequential. Others say it does have an effect. Other is, is questionable whether it's because of the way you're actually trained versus the those little trains and spikes in your hormones. So some, a lot of studies will say it doesn't make a difference. There's no harm in giving a little boost. If you're gonna do a workout, you might as well do one that boosts your natural hormones, right? Especially the beneficial hormones are growth hormone, testosterone, DHEA, et cetera. So obviously you wanna minimize cortisol. Uh, you don't wanna overtrain or do too much. You don't wanna do an hour and a half of fasted cardio. I think that's gonna defeat the purpose, but a short training session, a more intense one, is totally fine. So that's one way to do it. So uh, focus on the eccentric phase of the muscle. Studies have shown you can have a, a, a triple digit um, boost in growth hormone with uh, focusing on the slow eccentric phase of a, of a lifting program, three, three to four seconds on the eccentric and up versus just your, your typical concentric, eccentric. And like I said, some short hit uh, training as well. But again, first thing in the morning, fasted, and plus or minus of amino acids, those are some great ways to get some uh, growth hormone spikes. And obviously peptides will enhance this as well, but for those of you who can't, there's some simple ways to do it. So as I mentioned, check out my other videos on how ways to growth, enhance your growth hormone production. And I mentioned cortisol briefly. One thing I forgot to mention too, when you're in the morning, don't want to do your, a lot of people love coffee as a pre-workout. I do too, but as some people can do it for in, early in the morning, some people cannot. Ideally, as I mentioned in another video, you, you try to want to avoid a lot of caffeine before, uh, you know, say nine o'clock in the morning or so, because that's when you're getting your normal cortisol spike. That's your body's waking up. So by you don't want to hijack that by jacking yourself up uh, with caffeine uh, beforehand. So you have to be careful with that because it, it can affect your adrenal rhythms, your cortisol rhythms. So take advantage of that early morning cortisol spike and, and doing some training fast in the morning, you can get the best of both worlds by enhance, by taking advantage of that cortisol and the growth hormone to maximize fat burning um, without overstressing yourself. So if you could do just a touch, I just do some green tea in the morning, that's just all I need. Some people can do a lot of coffee, you know, just a sip or two or a cup. Uh, in the morning, but again, if that affects you in a bad way, uh, from the if you're overstressing, getting getting burnout, except you want to avoid that. So it's best to avoid it if you're doing it early in the morning. But if you want to try it just a little bit, maybe just try some tea or just a little bit of coffee, like I do, totally fine. But like I said, just something to be cognizant of, be aware of of doing of disrupting that normal rhythm. So like I said, take advantage. You want it, this all about taking normal hormonal rhythms and using them to your advantage. Take advantage of the positive, eliminate the negative. That's what we're all about here, optimizing your fitness, and your health, and nutrition. So hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll talk to you soon.